name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we are celebrating 17 Sunday in our ordinary time, in our liturgical year. What today we are coming that we want to receive like good news, what usually we receive good news from Jesus' words, and especially what we can see in the readings today, that our Almighty Father is full of mercy and full of patience, but not forever, what we can see in the first reading. And especially, Almighty Father wants to show to us, as a good Father, what Jesus taught disciples, this wonderful prayer, our Father. We remember this, that we have a wonderful and full of mercy, full of love, our Father in heaven. Now, in the beginning of this Eucharist, what we serve for Loring Yurkovich, what is intention for this Eucharist, tell to God sorry for each of our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, her Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. 
A reading from the book of Genesis. In those days the Lord said, The outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah is so great, and their sin so grave, that I must go down and see whether or not their actions fully correspond to the cry against them that comes to me. I mean to find out. While Abraham's visitors walked on farther towards Sodom, the Lord remained strong, standing before Abraham. Then Abraham drew nearer and said, Will you sweep away the innocent with the guilty? Suppose there were fifty innocent people in the city. Would you wipe out the place rather than spare it for the sake of the fifty innocent people within it? Far be it from you to do such a thing, to make the innocent die with the guilty, so that the innocent and the guilty would be treated alike. Should not the judge of the world act with justice? The Lord replied, If I find fifty innocent people in the city of Sodom, I will spare the whole place for their sake. Abraham spoke up again, See how I am presuming to speak to my Lord, though I am but dust and ashes. What if there were five less than fifty innocent people? Would you destroy the whole city because of those five? He answered, I will not destroy it if I find forty-five there. But Abraham persisted, saying, What if only forty are found there? He replied, I will forbear doing it for the sake of the forty. Then Abraham said, Let not my Lord grow impatient if I go on. What if only thirty are found there? He replied, I, re I will forbear doing it if I could find but thirty there. Still Abraham went on, Since I have thus dared to speak to my Lord, what if there were no more than twenty? The Lord answered, I will not destroy it for the sake of the twenty. But he still persisted, Please, let not my Lord grow ang angry if I speak up this last time. What if there were at least ten there? He replied, For the sake of those ten, I will not destroy it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, you were buried with him in baptism, in which you were also raised with him through faith and the power of God, who raised him from the dead. And even when you were dead, in transgressions and the uncircumcision of your flesh, he brought you to life along with him, having forgiven us all our transgressions, obliterating the bond against us with its legal claims, which was opposed to us. He also removed it from our midst, nailing it to the cross. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel according to Luke. Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. And forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone in debt to us, and do not subject us to the final test. And he said to them, Suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread, for a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey, and I have nothing to offer him. And he says in reply from within, Do not bother me, the door has already been locked and my children and I are already in bed. I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up to give the visitor the loaves because of their friendship, he will get up to give them whatever he needs because of his persistence. And I tell you, ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. What father among you would hand his son a snake when he asks for a fish, or hand him a scorpion when he asks for an egg? If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. You thought I memorized this gospel, didn't you? <laughs> kind of, not totally. Abraham, Abraham, of all the nerve. Huh? As Abraham bargained with God on behalf of the innocent of Sodom and Gomorrah, as reading was being proclaimed, did we think even a little bit now he wanted to shout out, Abraham, who do you think you're talking to? And then as Abraham continued to spiritually arm wrestle with God, as he persisted to speak, as he dared to speak, as he continued to still persisted in his countdown from 50 down to 10, do we want to shout out, Abraham, quit while you're ahead? Mm -hmm. Ah, the nerve of Abraham. Now, funny thing, I was... Uh, 
praying over the scripture readings. That's not real funny, but I was praying over the scripture readings during the week, and you never know where the Holy Spirit's going to bring you. I was transported back to the land of Oz. Yeah. Yeah, I was. You remember that scene? I, I know we've seen that movie for now for a couple of weeks. <laughs> but I, I, I think I remember that, that one scene, and you can enter it with me, where Dorothy and her friends meet the wizard for the very first time. Right? And so there they go. And as they enter that big room, there's smoke building out and there's fire flaming out. And then the frightening, angry image of the Wizard of Oz himself is projected up in front of them. And they're afraid. And Dorothy and her friends are coming for a request for help, and they're afraid. And remember that scarecrow? He's trying to give homage and stand up and up and down. And he, he, he's all over the place. And then the Tin Man, he's just shaking. You can hear the metal just rattling to beat the band. And the Cowardly Lion, well, he's fainted, right? <laughs> and then he got up and he ran down the hall, jumped out through the window, right? And all the while, Dorothy's in the background holding Toto, and her knees are knocking together. Such fear to go before the wizard when you want help. It sure doesn't uh, sound like our God, does it? No, not at all. And that's the point. You see, may I suggest to us this evening that it's not the nerve of Abraham. Abraham knew God. Abraham was not being dishonest. He was not being disrespectful, not arrogant, not even bothering our Heavenly Father. Because he knew that God is a loving, merciful, caring God. And he knew he could speak to God. As we prayed in that responsorial psalm today, Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. And the Catechism of the Catholic Church says, in part, Abraham's heart is attuned to his Lord's compassion for men, and he dares to intercede for them with bold confidence. Bold confidence. It's that bold confidence that allows Abraham to open up his heart to God, to come before him with trust and faith, to open himself up to prayer. And he makes this request to God because in dialogue, because this is what prayer is, dialogue. And so uh, the power of prayer allows Abraham to feel comfortable. St. Teresa of Avila says about prayer, she says, prayer is nothing else than being on terms of friendship with God. Love that saying. Beautiful. Well, speaking of prayer, we transition over to the gospel. And what do we hear Jesus doing at the beginning of today's gospel? He's praying, isn't he? And many times through the gospels, we hear Jesus praying often to his heavenly father. Because he has that close, intimate, loving relationship with him. And so the disciples see that, and they want a part of that action too. Teach us to pray. And Jesus responded, didn't he? Again, the Catechism of the Catholic Church says in part, in response to this request, the Lord entrusts to his disciples and to his church the fundamental Christian prayer. All Christians know this prayer. My friends, how blessed are we today that the Lord takes us with that Lord's Prayer, and he takes us where we are and moves us on the way to the Father. He wants us to have that intimate relationship with the Father like he does. And so we have this version in, in Luke today. I didn't leave anything out. It was a shortened version. Uh, Matthew has a little longer, a few more petitions. And that's the, the uh, form that we're familiar with at Mass and also during when we pray the Rosary. But this is the Lord's Prayer according, according to Luke. And uh, it still brings us before our Heavenly Father. And Jesus tells us to call God Father. Because he wants us to know that God is a merciful, loving God. He wants us to feel comfortable to come to him. That he is a caring figure. Jesus wants us to know that we can trust God in a holy way. And appreciate the relationship with him and draw ourselves into communion with him. Hallowed be your name. Well, my friends, our Heavenly Father is the creator of us. In fact, he's the creator of all that there is. And he's worthy of the praise and adoration that we give him. So we come humbly before him in this prayer, and we give him that awe and respect that is due to him. 
thy kingdom come. We pray in confidence because we know that one day God will come to reveal himself in power and he will rule in glory. Give us this day our daily bread. God is our provider. He gives everything we need for our basic needs to live this life. Forgive us our sins. I'm reading the one because I'm not familiar with this one. But we ourselves figure every, uh, forgive everyone in debt to us. Well, it's okay to ask for forgiveness. Even St. Paul reminds us in Colossians today um, that Jesus having forgiven us all our transgressions. That's fine. That's part one. Part two is we have to forgive as well. We have to model what we ask for. And then lastly, do not subject us to the final test. Well, God's not going to lead us into temptation, despite what you hear from other people. Well, he's testing you. No, God's not sin. He's not going to lead you that way. We pray that petition, asking God for his protection, so that we do not take that way to sin. If that makes any sense to you. So Jesus is teaching us this prayer. Now he's telling us, how do we pray? So how, And he comes up with this wonderful parable, and it's kind of comical in the way if you think about it. Here's a man at night, cold darkness, banging on the door in the neighborhood, right? So he gets what he wants. It kind of brought me back to, I don't know, the Holy Spirit's working overtime because it brought me back to the Flintstones. <laughs> Remember back at the Flintstones at the end when they were rolling the credits and Fred's kind of like locking up for the night and he puts the two little milk bottles out there and he goes in and he gets that, I don't know, saber toothed tiger? I don't know what it is. It's a big, huge pet, and he, he brings him out, and the cat runs back in and locks the door behind Fred. And then there's Fred, he's banging on the door. Wilma, open the door, open the door. And you can see all the houses in the neighborhood, one by one, lights going on, lights going on, lights going on. Well, the same in this parable. Most of the houses back then were only one floor, and everyone slept on the one floor. Even the animals were brought in there. They would sleep in there too. And to wake up one person was to wake up everyone. But this neighbor exhibits the same boldness, the same persistence, the same determination of Abraham, and he gets and it pays off. Okay. So what does this mean for us today? Well, I, the Lord wants us to exhibit the same bold confidence as Abraham, the same persistence, determination. You know, when we pray the Lord's Prayer, it's a wonderful prayer, and sometimes we run through it because it's just, you know, by rote. But St. Teresa of Avila says, when you pray the Lord's Prayer, take an hour to pray it. Think about that. Take time. Every word is weighted in that prayer. And at Mass also, universal prayer, the petitions that we have. You now, Abraham interceded for others, didn't he? He was asking for to save Sodom and Gomorrah. Well, at the petitions, we do the same. We intercede for others. Not only for ourselves, we ask for the needs of others. And then at home, we can also grow as people of prayer. Whether we're single, married, engaged, have families, we all need to carve out some part of the day to dialogue with our Heavenly Father. No one is that busy. I know married couples go, are you kidding me? No. I know, it's kind of uncomfortable. But try it, you'll like it. Try it, okay? And then lastly, our Lord encourages us to pray. He, he gives us this acronym, ASK. That's the way, actually, the way it works out in English, it works pretty good. ASK. A, ask and you will receive. S, seek and you will find. And K, knock and it will be given to you. The door will be open to you. So we need to come to our Heavenly Father with bold confidence. And don't be shy. We can come to our, our Heavenly Father. He's big. He created the world. He can hear us, okay? So whether we're talking about things that sharing our happiness, our joys, or our setbacks, our worries, our illnesses, death of a, rel a loved one. God wants to hear from us because he is gracious, he is generous, and he's ready to hear our prayer request. So my friends, let's enter into that loving relationship that Jesus invites us to through the Lord's Prayer. Let's keep in mind Abraham's determination to, pr to pray and let's be at peace knowing that God our Father waits for us and welcomes us to come with, to him and pray and to dialogue as we seek him in prayer. Amen? Amen. God bless you.
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, consubstantial of the Father, from him all things were made. For us men, our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. Believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Jesus encouraged his followers to ask, seek, and knock, trusting in God's goodness. Let us offer our prayers today. We pray for the pilgrim church on earth. May God help us to readily forgive others and joyfully seek his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, I hear our prayer. For elected officials and policymakers, may God grant them integrity in protecting all who are vulnerable, especially the poor, the elderly, and the unborn. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, I hear our prayer. For those trapped in sin or addiction, may God give them faith and hope let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our family of faith, may the Lord's faithfulness help us to continue in prayer, trusting God to answer in his time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died trusting God's mercy. We pray for Lorraine Yurkovich, of whom this Mass is offered, and for Dorothy Andrechik. May And all the victims in the war in Ukraine, May all be rewarded with everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let's pray for the rest of this country and uh, other countries who are suffering from the high heat and from deaths as well. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you provide generously for your children. Please hear and answer our prayers this day in your wisdom. We ask this for your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Lord forever and ever. Amen. Our author is prayer, number 442, Seek Ye First, 442. <laughs> and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, and the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all that you church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, 
these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially member Lorin Yurkovich, for whom we pray at this Mass, and also Dolote Andrzejczyk, who recently passed away, and victims from war in Ukraine, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter the highway, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Brothers and sisters, like each uh, weekend, what we have opportunity to serve is mass outside. We have to say thanks to God. God is full of mercy, full of love, and no rain, not too hot, just like perfect weather to serve mass in our church under sky. Just to remind you that you can find bulletin uh, two places, ending of a small uh, wall, and also boxes for our collection. What I'm let thank you that, that we support our parish. In the bulletin, just to remind you what we have a regular schedule like Tuesday, uh, all day adoration, blessed sacrament on the altar, 3 p.m. today, 3 p.m. together we pray, Divine Mercy Chaplet, 7 in the evening, rosary prayer and follow his benediction. Uh, and uh, we have uh, like something new, what you can check in the bulletin because coming uh, Thursday, July 28th, will be Divine Mercy Sanacle Meeting, 6.30 in the evening. You have more information, more details in the bulletin. You can look. Uh, this is like new prayer group. And also we need um, like teacher to our PSR classes. And this time to think about PSR registration. You can find more details in our bulletin. And also what I announced like a week ago, because we have uh, some staff from kitchen, from old kitchen, from down downstairs, and uh, some stuff that you can share. If you want to um, take this to home, just make some donation, what is in the entrance to the our elevator, what we call it like uh, our church room, which fundraiser, and you can put some donation. Also, if you have at home some, some kitchen stuff or like small uh, home, items you can bring here and like exchange. Two weeks will be like in this until last weekend uh, in uh, July. Just just ch check this details about, about this uh, Romich fundraiser in our parish. And I have to share with you wonderful news, very important to us because uh, our deacons one is going to the uh, retire and other it was like stolen to other parish we have a new 
new candidate, what is good news that our Bishop Edward uh, Malesi formally accepted our candidate from our parish, Jason Ziga, to be as a full candidate for P permanent diaconate. Jason, please stand up. And <laughs> he, he elector was today, and we have a like young blood to our candidate, <laughs> our diaconate. Thank you, congratulations, pray for him because this is important. And now please stand up and pray and final blessing. Let us pray. We have consumed, O oh Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your son. Grant, we pray, that this gift which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And also we come back to special blessing to drivers and, and everybody who use some mobile, what I can say, because uh, July 25th, this is Feast of St. Christopher, who is patron of any travel people and a driver. And we bless today each of us who are driver, who are passenger, and use some any mobile. This is like special blessing to each of us and people around us. O oh Lord, we humbly ask you to give your almighty protection to all travelers. Accept our fervent and sincere prayers that through your great power and unfaltering spirit, those who travel may reach their destination safe and sound. Grant your divine guidance and infinite wisdom to all who operate automobiles, trains, planes, tractor, boats, and other vehicles. Inspire them with the sense of duty and knowledge and help them guide those entrusted in their care to complete their travel safely. We thank you, O Lord, for your great mercy and unending love to all mankind and for extending your arm of protection to all travelers. Saint Christopher, holy patron of travelers, protect us and lead us safely to our destiny. Amen and pray like extra fail Mary for peace on the world, peace in Ukraine for our uh, candidate to diaconate Jason and for travelers. Hail, Hail Mary, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death, amen. May Almighty God bless each of you in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, serving the Lord with your life. Thanks be to God.